Next question is mine. So how do you think Mike found Malia's address? Do you think it was Erica or a chatty Kathy in Rose City being a busy body? Or do you think Mike used his powers as an assistant DA? How Mike um, found the address, Malia in her heart, she feels it has something to do with Erica. She's been, she said, you know, to her friends, I went to go and dump the flowers and the, and the candy in the trash can. She jumped on the phone, honey. She was like, one hundred phone a friend. Eva, Wendy, girl, guess what happened? Let me, let me, be real quick before you come back and be here, right? So she told them. And then even Wendy was like, girl, you know, it had to have been like Erica. So that's the consensus. It's not confirmed, but it's the consensus that maybe Erica has a fit. But at the same time, it could have been. It could have been anybody. Um, it, it really, even with Mike having um, access to he has access to, it wouldn't be hard for him to put Malia's name into a database and all of her information comes up. I'm sure he has some way of looking her up and finding um, anything he needs to find on her because she does have a business license, right, for the city because of her businesses that she owns. So all of her information will be able to be in the be able to look at or have somebody that he knows in other places look it up for him. So we don't know how Mike got that address, but we know that he is how you get it though. What do you think, Carrie? Um, I honestly don't think Mike ever stopped keeping tabs on Malia when he moved away. You know, so um you know, uh, and and I think D, all of the above, like, I think he went through a few different channels to make sure that whatever information he found out was correct, you know, so whether that was cross-referencing it with the, you know, his, his um, access with the DA's office, asking Erica, you know, but honestly, you know who I think gave him Malia's address? I think her mother gave him uh, her address Shoot. because- yeah, she wanted Malia to go and get him back and apologize, you know, so yeah. they're still talking. There ain't no way that Sandy isn't still calling him up or they're checking in every now and then and, hey, son, how are you doing? You know, Malia still ain't found nobody, you know, you know, that, that messy talk. She's waiting for you, Meg. She's waiting for you. Yeah, so I I think Sandy might have dropped the dropped the little um hey she she lives here now maybe send her something nice and you know so and that that was definitely <laughs> before Sandy met Mr. Chan because now Mike yeah. Mike ain't got a chance Sandy got her eyes on a new bag so eyes on a new bag and I I definitely feel like you're absolutely correct it definitely could have been Sandy I mean if we go back to the earlier chapters where they were at the club, Mike was giving out information, you know, and he let it slip that he had been talking to Malia's mom and Malia's mom and grandmother were disappointed that she's not married. She has beans in her oven cooking and, you know, all this type of stuff. Like she wasn't following along with that tradition of finding a great man, um, having some kids, having a family and just, you know, producing these great black heirs. And it's just like, it's nothing like she didn't want those things, but you can't have that with a cheetah. You can't have that with a cheater because you end up with an Addison in an event situation where you got a man in your life, but baby, he's he's on the streets, honey. I mean, he's out he's out handing out sausage. Like it's Christmas day. You want a patty? Like you want, you want a link? Like you want some of this turkey? Honey, a neck. You want some like... Who wants to be with community property? Who wants to be with somebody who's for everybody, you know? And you're supposed to be married. Like, that's so embarrassing. That's so, embarrassing. so um, no. Well, you know, I think Sandy's looking at like, well, here comes Mike. He's back home. He's got this great job. You know, he's back on track to do all the great things he wanted to do here. Well, yeah, girl, just go ahead and forgive him. You know, he, he could have done worse. He could have. Could have got one of your sisters pregnant. So it's fine. Like he's still in the running. We could just chalk it up to he's young. He was inexperienced. He didn't know. You guys have been together since high school. He was beans. You see how we examine that we would never for a woman. Nobody would ever take a woman back into your arms after she broke your heart. Repeatedly went out, got picked by somebody else, stayed gone, came back to you, and like you can be my man now. And people are like, no, sis, you're delusional. The man does it. He was confused and 
Um, he just, he didn't know, you know, uh, his father wasn't around to teach him how to be a, a man. We're going to blame this on your daddy. We're going to blame this on your daddy. You said tears, honey. We're going to blame this on something. No, it's not about you having somebody in your life to teach you something. It's about having some basic principles for how to, common decency of how to treat somebody. So you're right. It could be Sandy. It could have been, could have been Anna. It could be, it could be Anna, because those people are some busy bodies trying to put together an unholy union that Our next question says, it seems like the mood changed once Mike pulled his stunt off. I was wondering why Malia and Chan didn't finish off what was started earlier. What are your thoughts, ladies? Yeah, I was a little bothered by that too. Like, how do y'all not just get back to it? You know, um, but I mean, everybody's mood is off. The doctor came in, you know, being a whole whatever you want to call it. I can't think of the word, you know, and then Mike's flowers show up. Like everybody's mood is off. So you don't want your first time to, uh, you know, with somebody that, you know, that first intimate moment, you got to be right in the midst of that fiery passion. That's how you want your first time to be, you know, with somebody that you're, um, you know, newly starting this fresh relationship with. So I get it, you know, but that, fire would have already been lit me we would have been uh back at it so i'm just like y'all just uh, the doctor that, that door would have never got answered either time we would have been probably you know uh looking for some cookies right about now because we're done <laughs> but, you know getting some ice water opening up the window turning on the fan woo, you know and then like well let's uh, figure out who was at the door, you know. <laughs> you said round two. <laughs> Terrible. No, I'm done. I'd be done. Uh, let's take round two for tomorrow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think that was the biggest thing. And then also, I was also thinking, you know, Malia, she hasn't had it in so long. She was just, she probably was like, ooh, she was really beside herself because she was about to give away them cookies. So she probably snapped out of it like, ooh, that was God. God, that doorbell, that was all Jesus that saved me because I was about to give this man my stuff. So she was probably like, ooh, thank you. Let me, let me go cool off. So I, I, um, but I don't know why Chan didn't just attack her. Like, uh, uh, you bring your tail back in here now. That's mine. So yeah, I mean, a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons. <laughs> Let me go in the church over here. Like, yeah, I'm with it, yeah. Just over here, just giving it to you, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, because the way that I think in my mind, once Chan would have came back upstairs, it would have been on and popping, you know what I mean? But again, like, I, I'm torn because it is so early in the relationship and you already handed out cookies like you a Girl Scout. We're not giving out boxes. We're not just giving it to whoever walks past. I'm never going to look at a Girl Scout <laughs> through the same ever again handing out cookies. Like, y'all just out here handing out the cookies. Like, I'm never going to look at them the same. God help me. Um, but <laughs> I'm just, I mean, I just, I, I, so I definitely understand. Like, there's an internal struggle because there's a big part. Hey, I'm human. Um, I got needs and you got needs and I know you can take care of mine and I know I can rock yours. So I think why are we waiting? But then there is this other thing, but I definitely feel like the energy was off, you know, after, I think even like before, like he, he came back upstairs, you know, like the book says that she's on the, um, she's, you know, sending an email or whatever. And he's kind of just like staring at her. But I definitely got to this about like the doctor was saying, was probably playing a, a part in his mind. He's like, Hmm. If she hasn't been with anybody in a while, she's not on birth control. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's got, you know, some protection in his pocket because Malia don't have nothing in her house because she ain't getting nothing. Right. So that might be a factor of like, oh, we was really kind of hot and heavy. And I'm sure probably wouldn't have been able to think fast enough because we would have just been moved quickly. So you just really got to take time and like slow it down a little bit you know we we got people need to be tested you know what i mean you need to be fully tested for the works baby like i can't just have you over here doing the most but um you know because we're human you definitely be like you ready to go i mean like yeah so 
I don't know. I, I feel like there's so many factors. And I, I do think that living in today's society, where that's all most people really want, it is scary to feel like, okay, what if I do this? And then I don't get a phone call back because if somebody's getting a brick through their windshield. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that not ladylike enough? I'm sorry. Should I have said that I was going to break out your window? Uh, yeah, keep your car. Like, I used to think that was so crazy, and I still do on some level. But what you, <laughs> I do. Like, I feel like it's crazy, but then at the same time, like, I get it. I've never done it. Um, I don't plan on doing that. But when you feel like, you know, somebody has just really, like, taken your heart, baby, tore that up, like, they didn't even care. I need to make you feel pain too. How do I make you feel pain? Go after your property. All right, praise God. I mean, again, that may not be the best move, so don't blame me. Like, if you like, well, she told No, I tell you to do nothing. I can't be responsible for other people. I can only be responsible for myself. Okay? I'm not going to be responsible for nobody else breaking out windows and slashing the tires and key and stuff. Like, that has nothing to do with me. I've never done that. I've never done it. Okay? So don't blame me for something. But I understand, like, I understand. I sympathize with people who feel like, you hurt me and I'm going to go after what, you know, means something to you. I'm not going to do it because I haven't caught me. Yeah. And then you have me, you know what I'm saying, in court, in charge. Like, that's, 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 uh, um, uh, going back to the question for a second. Yeah. Why they didn't just go back to it? I just think like curious. It was, it was really, really off. Um, Mike didn't help out sitting there with that, uh, because they probably, even though what Dr. Cho or whatever Cho had said, you know, whatever, Tam probably was ready. He's probably, he probably, remember Mr., um, instead of asking what the condo number was, he asked what the condom number was. So I'm, I'm sure he has something in his pocket, right? So that was probably okay on that level for protection. But then if you think about, now Mike has sent this thing, now Malia's all up in arms and, and he's like, what are you going to do with flowers and chocolate? And she's like, I'm going to do the same thing he did to me five years ago and I'm going to throw it in the trash. So how do you want to go to pound town? Now you're reliving memories of being humiliated. You know, you don't re really feel the, the, the best in that moment. So I think like, yeah, probably was just like, it soured the mood. And, and he's like, what do you want to do? She's like, go to the table. Well, not the table. I want to go to the couch, grab my favorite blanket and watch The Last of Us. Like that's all. And he's like, okay, I will we'll order food and we'll just chill on the couch. But yeah, like the mood was tampered. You know, it was, it was damaged. I'm sure if Chan... Put the moves on Malia, you know, a fire definitely would have been lit, but he would definitely have to put some work in because I don't think she was feeling it, you know? Yeah, and I don't think Chan is concerned with birth control. I mean, Malia is his. <laughs> he ready to put a baby in that last week, okay? Like, he is not worried about that, John. So, so you think so how <laughs> Yeah, he strikes me as type of person in mind. Like, oh, don't worry, I got money to take care of that. Because, I mean, in his mind, she already belongs to him. So he's like, okay, you want a ring? I mean, you ready to do it? You want to get married? Like, I mean, what do you want to do? No, we're not doing that so quickly. Ain't nobody trying to get pregnant right away. Like, let me get, let me have some time to get to know you, make sure that you're not crazy. You're crazy, you know what I mean? Because then I have, I still have time to leave the situation. I'm not, I'm not attached to you. I don't have your children. I don't have DNA. So I have time to just like, kind of like dip out. But once you have a baby with somebody and they're crazy, it's just like, you're not locked in for life. They feel that connection. Like, well, we have a child together. No, we don't. Because I don't know if that child is yours. I'm sorry. That's what I'd be like. He's too big to have. I, I don't know. I mean, we have some Native American on my mom's side. Okay? That's what I was Coming from it's Indian in the family. <laughs> we go bring it out. It's a throat. My great 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 great. That's what baby look like. That baby's part now. You know, it's the end of line coming out. This ain't your baby. This is not your baby. Oh, God. Um, yeah.